I was gutted, and I got home, and I saw my family, my kids, my wife, my loved ones. I felt a bit better. That's what Usyk shares when he talks about his family evacuation due to the ongoing war in his hometown. It would be a terrible thing if he returned home without a member of his family. It's unacceptable, but reality shows that anything can happen, especially when Usyk is away from his family and is preparing for a big match. How will psychological instability affect him before the bout? How will he face the battle? Could there be a huge change from Usyk? Let's stay up to date with the latest Usyk news ahead of the rematch with Joshua. Before hitting the video, remember, like, subscribe, and bang that bell icon so you don't miss one video. I'm already here. And you? Usyk is contractually obligated to a second showdown with Anthony Joshua, who he beat and dethroned of his WBA, IBF, and WBO heavyweight world titles back last September. The rematch was initially postponed due to the war. However, matchroom boxing boss Eddie Hearn insists the rematch would still take place despite the ongoing crisis and it's expected to be on June 25th and is evidenced by Usyk writing on Instagram. For Anthony Joshua, he's sparring and preparing urgently for his rematch with Usyk in the coming summer. Joshua has shown his determination to reclaim four heavyweight titles with advanced workouts every day. As for Usyk, he's in a state of turmoil with a rather chaotic mind. He's distracted. He's worried about his family at home. Speaking for the first time since he left the Ukraine, Usyk has lifted the lid on the moment he raced back to his homeland when war broke out. It was 5 a.m. when I received a message from my wife in which she informed me the war had started, he told YouTube channel Block Asset. Usyk admits he was lucky to have not seen many conflicts, but reveals a number of his other friends are missing in the horrible conflict. He doesn't know where they are, and many of his relatives have lost their homes, lost their friends, lost their loved ones. He revealed that luckily he hasn't seen much of the war, but what he sees and what he knows from his relatives and his friends is terrible. It can be seen that the most worrying thing is Usyk's torn psyche. On the one hand, he wants to participate in this rematch to bring victory to his hometown, and money Usyk earns after the battle can be used to help Ukraine improve the situation. But another view, Usyk also faced lots of difficulty when he had to leave his family and go to the place of practice and competition. Usyk always wonders whether or not his family, wife, children are safe. He's worried. Many families have lost their homes, lost loved ones, and even they are refugees who are in dire need of assistance. And that is also very likely to happen to his family right now because he shared that war is really cruel. In comparison to war, boxing is just a game. Usyk wanted to stay in Ukraine, but his friends convinced him that the boxer was more useful if he went and fought Anthony Joshua. Currently, he's trying to focus on preparing for the match and practically doesn't follow the news. It was emphasized the fees from the war would go to help Ukraine. He said he doesn't care about anything else right now, belts, anything other than helping Ukraine. 
He'll do his best in training and everything in his power to support the Ukrainians as they support him. Protecting the Ukraine is also protecting his family, protecting his own wife, his three young children. It's also the biggest reason why Usyk joins the rematch with Anthony Joshua. Usyk can choose to stay in Ukraine, protect his family, his homeland, directly by joining the Defense Force. But actually what he chose to do was leave Ukraine with the support of so many friends and Ukrainians. Usyk intends to spend the money he earns to support Ukraine and also support his loved ones. My team and I made a fund that will help people who have been left without a home and who need help. Leaving Ukraine to participate in the rematch was a really difficult decision for Usyk because he constantly devoted his mind to his family while also taking responsibility for winning to support his homeland. It's a huge amount of pressure, but a huge motivation for him to overcome and win the upcoming battle. I'm not sure any heavyweight champion has been in such an awful situation with a big fight coming up. However, the traits and qualities of a great boxer involve more than just trying to be the best and trying to prepare their spiritual power. It also includes excellent technical skills, a passion for the sport, the ability to adapt to anything that comes their way, avoiding distractions on the way up, and to fight all odds to reach their goals. With Usyk, the champion possesses great technique and a respectable fighting spirit. In the latest post on social media platforms, Usyk pledged to prepare for the match as much as possible, hoping he can overcome it all. Either way, good luck, Alexander! Do you think Usyk will keep going with his decision firmly or will there be other options? Hey, comment below and let us know. How do you feel? I am feel. I am very feel. How are you? I'm fine. I'm very fine. <laughs>